Hey guys, today let's play Roots of Pacha. Uh, this is an indie game released this year, 2023, and um, I think it's kind of like a simulation management type game. Uh, anyways, I'm curious to check it out. It's, it's uh, okay. We can do single player or multiplayer. This game is actually co-op capable, which is really cool. Okay, so you start off being able to choose your character. Um, let's see, it could be a girl. Randomize. It can be like all these people. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see who I want to be. Randomize. Okay, let's see. Um. Man, there was one girl I actually kind of liked. <laughs> Can I get her again? Nope. Blue hair, okay. Oh, it's not too bad actually. Let's see. Nope. Let's see who I want to be here. Certainly is a lot of options, huh? Okay. Um, let's just like choose from here then. Skin color, body type. Oh, okay, I want to be kind of like this. Brighter color. Eyes. Oh, these are eyebrows. Okay. Hazel eyes. Oh, it's a different type of eyes, okay. Oh man. Tattoos, I can have tattoos. Oh, okay. Tattoo color. Hairstyle. There you go. Mm, let's choose this one. I like having like a little flower in my hair is nice. Let's see, brunette. Let's be a brunette. I like brunettes. Beard. Well, I'm a woman, so no thanks. Um, and color for the clothing. Footwear. I mean, this is about a game that where we're living in the old age, old ages. It looks like so. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think it's fine. Hat. I can have a hat. No, we can only have hat or not. <laughs> Basically, okay. What's your name. Um, let me choose my typical name here. Okay, let's do it. Eve. Yeah, it looks like it's set in the uh, in the old ages, right? Stone Age or Iron Age or Bronze Age or something. I'm a little bit underdressed for this uh, climate, by the way. <laughs> Looks like I'm part of a tribe. Do, 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 do.
That's the earth tree, guys. <laughs> Seems like a charming game so far. A lot of indie games are, actually. <laughs> Especially like with these uh, retro style graphics, of course. Adds to the charm. It's just indie easier for indie devs to make this kind of game, right? It's just uh, no need to um, you know, get a graphics artist, a 3D software, or anything like that. Just go with the old um, 16 or. Well, uh, you know, the old school 2D graphics. Okay, so this has kind of got Harvest Moon, El uh, Stardew Valley type of elements to it, where, uh, yeah, you go around and you plant stuff. So that's that's very similar to Harvest Moon, right? Story of Seasons, sorry. Plant fiber. Mm. So this is kind of like a prehistoric version of Harvest Moon <laughs> or Story of Seasons. Wow, I can even beat the stone up. I must be a strong woman. I can beat up stone. Look at this. Well, I can plant it back up. See, look, there's no need for like a any kind of special tool when I can just do everything with my hands. Apparently, see, usually you need to have a special tool to be able to <laughs> do this, but I can just do it all with my hands. Even break stone with my bare hands. There we go. I need you adopt a grandchild marry a sibling seeds around the village gather seed for wild plants by harvesting them hand axe clear the fields see from my bag plant it water skin and water your plants who did your harvest oh, okay okay let's get it from plants then yeah not ready to harvest the seeds, okay. To get it from the plants. Adoptive. I wonder who my real parents are. It's patch hands. People. Patch hands, okay. Fiber. You have some seeds somewhere, right? Patchwork sandals. seeds here. There we go. There, planted my seeds. Now we need to uh, get some water. There we go. Our water flask there. I just need to wait a few days I guess. Oh no, I need to do more. Okay. Hmm. 
Clan's toolmaker. I see her entire family tree, huh? Crafting, okay. Stone box. Okay, I can make a stone box. Nice. It's my little crafting spot. Uh, dirt floor, stone floor. Okay. So it's got some Minecraft in it too, I guess, because you can use the. Uh, you can also craft tools. So that's that's the Minecraft element. Nice. <laughs> I mean, this looks all like cozy and stuff, but I'm sure this is not how real prehistor prehistoric people lived. Real prehistoric people would not be this tidy and have this much coziness, I'm guessing. This is like more of an idealistic way of looking at it. Hmm. Yummy food. Dance. Yeah. Showing off my moves. Showing off my moves. Okay. In exchange and I can dance. <laughs> Nothing. Whoa, got meat. Eat drop. I can eat it. Yum. Oh no, I just eat raw meat. Oh. Tomato. Oh, I got new seeds. Inspect Grey Wolf. He seemed to trust us enough. Remember that dogs were uh, domesticated wolves, I think. Or rather, a species that were close to wolves or something. Dance. <laughs> they don't want to dance. <laughs> None of them want to dance, okay. Why not? You guys don't want to do Gundam style? I want to dance though. Big one. This is the big one. Whoops. Oh, okay, this is a hand axe. Okay. Thought it was <laughs> I thought at the beginning she was using her bare hands. This is a big area. Like how like they made shelves and everything, like highly doubt prehistoric people were like this organized.
What's this? Okay. Nice. I can cook. Oh, okay. Cool. Nope, need eggplant, sesame, any tree fruit. It's cool. So this game you can do a lot of stuff. Craft, cook, um, plant, you know. It's essentially a simulation game, right? Yeah, kind of like The Sims in a sense, but not really. But the f I guess it's kind of like that in, in terms of how much you're able to do. It's like maybe as much as or more than Stardew Valley, actually. Oh, the Elder's gone. Probably use this here to refill. Oh, I start fishing. Mm. Can't follow the fish. What does that mean? Fishing as well. Yeah, porcupine. Got it. Okay, I get it now. It's supposed to, it's supposed to follow the fish. And then uh, you don't hook it basically until you have a good amount of. There. Let's see. Oh no. Okay. Oh, fish spotted you. Oh. Had to get the bar to, bar to full. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Anyways, that's interesting. It's got a fishing mini game. Probably cook the fish. Can I cook in here? I got some fish. Hmm, I just want to cook my fish in the fire. I can't do that. Reserved. No, I can't cook the fish. Why can't I just like cook the fish in the fire? No. Uh. So probably talk to the clearing and choose three different items. Okay.
<laughs> what? But you, she's dancing right now. See, they're dancing. <laughs> None of them want to dance, and yeah, they're dancing. What the heck's going on? Part of a tribe. We're a tribal group. Hunter gatherers, I guess. Oh, it was nighttime already. Getting dark. Need some torches. Okay, I almost finished dancing, I guess. Be going home. Alright, can I go back and sleep? Oh yeah, Animal Crossing. That's the other game I, that I think this has a resemblance to because Animal Crossing, you know, has uh, lots of things you can do in that game as well. You can also do like fishing and cooking and building and things like that. So I guess this has a bit of Animal Crossing in it. Oh, okay, yes. That's what I want to do. I want to go back to my house. Go to sleep. Where's my bed? Oh, I have four beds. I didn't contribute today. Didn't contribute to my clan, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I can offer fish. That's what I can do. Have some fish. Here we go, yeah, I can fish. Lucky enough to catch. I got some fish. Good luck, improved luck catching better fish. people.
defense. Yeah. So this is the festival, right? Pets and mounts. Oh, okay, there's mounts. Is this 2006? Is this 2006 BC? <laughs> I'm, because it couldn't be 2006, like, you know. That was just, um, whoa, man, 2006 was how long ago? 16 years ago? 17 years ago, damn. That was when I was in last year of high school going to university. Man, I can't believe that was 16 years ago. Wow. Alright, uh, but so this must be 2006 BC, I'm guessing then. Yeah, let's go back. Animals. Approaching the animals in the forest. Oh no, I, none of these animals trust me. Cook here on the fire. I should be able to cook. This power is still out of reach. Power. Hmm. What does it mean, power? Catch some more fish. Too much to carry. Okay. There we go.
Okay. Fulfilled, right? Stone? <laughs> yeah, put the stone in. Wood. She might. Oregano. Put this oregano in. Put this Burkenia in. Okay, there. I contributed. Black Wolf. I think it was another game, Core Keeper, I think? In Terraria, of course. A bunch of games where uh, you craft stuff. But this game is kind of like, yeah, it's more like Animal Crossing, I would say, because you can do a little bit of everything. seeds unfortunately I wish there was a mini map. There's no mini map here. This is a really, you know, it's a big map. It'd be nice to have a mini map. Fresh fish and total is real. Okay. Contribute to. Uh, I already contributed three different items. Oh, here's a map. Okay. It's pretty big. See? Pretty big area. to 
tomato seed, not ready. Let's harvest some tomato seeds. beginning to grow a bit. Okay, let's see. Tomato seeds, here we go. Seeds, nice. Some more of that. I don't know what time it is. You're supposed to sleep before 2 a.m., but I don't know what time it is right now. It doesn't say. Hmm. sleep. You can pick any of these beds. Alright. I did contribute something. That's good. They're still sleeping? Hey, wake up sleepy heads. Still sleeping. Oh, I guess this is a. Uh, it's right now. It's dawn, right? Oh, look, it started to mature a little. Oh, they got up now. He's still sleeping.
Alright, um, I'm going to stop here, but this is Roots of Pacha. And uh, I think this is a... It's one of those games that's like kind of like Animal Crossing, I guess. It's uh, You can do everything in it. You can do fishing, you can do cooking, you can do crafting, you can do harvesting. Uh, pretty much a lot of stuff. It's in your, you know, in your own little neighborhood with a bunch of people. You can build stuff. There, I can build a small hut even. Let's see if I can even put my little storage thing here. Nope. To ignore this is a gathering spot. Oh, so I can put it actually right here. Out there. So, yeah, um, it's got a little bit of everything. So, yeah, it's about a bit of Minecraft, a bit of Animal Crossing, a lot of stuff. Oh, I got a special flute. Just curious to see, uh, see if I can talk to some wild critters. Oh, let's go to the forest. I'm going to talk to some critters, wild animals. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can cross it. That's right. There's a lot of animals. Beans. Hmm. Mushroom. Okay, some rabbits. A tune. Oh, it's a little mini game here. use like a little flute to get them to uh to like you it's like very disney like i guess right play rhythm mini game and then let's see if they uh play some melodies to see if they the animal get is friendly towards you <laughs> you've already played music to bunny How many, how many uh, attunes does it take for them to become, like, tamed, I guess? It's like a rhythm minigame here. Oh, a white bunny, okay. Oh yeah, we'll put these wild boars. Let's try it. They all have different uh, music too. Wild boar, there. Huh, alright guys, um, just wanted to try that. <laughs> nice. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is Roots of Pacha. Uh, if you like Animal Crossing slash mixed with Minecraft and some Stardew Valley, then uh, yeah, this is probably the game for you guys. Check it out. 
Um, you can certainly spend a lot of time on this game, but uh, I'm gonna stop right here. Because yeah, you, do have, <laughs> you can play this game for a long time, I think. Um, it's one of those open-end ones. So, big map too. So guys, thanks for watching.